one in five. Today, one in five wondered if being alive was worth the cost of another day. Two in 10 wondered when there was finally going to be a 911 for mental health. Four in 20 wondered if the wealth we spent on the self-decided salaries of politicians who claim that children are our future could pay for it. Maybe one of the eight of the eight in 40 quit wondering and started making plans. Maybe three of the 16 of the 16 in 80 feel like unrecycled cans that are just easier to throw away. Maybe one-fifth of 160 is easier to say than 32 because 32 is starting to sound like a lot. A toll-free number is not enough. Give us a number everyone knows by heart so the next time we see someone's world falling apart, we can do more than just stand there. Because the scars we can't see require a different kind of care than the ones left there by crime or by accident. Sometimes there's no hint to tell you where it hurts, it just hurts. Sometimes our minds are red alerts you can't see, even when you look us in the eye. Sometimes we cry for what others would consider no reason. Sometimes the treason we commit is against ourselves. It's hard enough trying to find out who we are amid the overcrowded shelves of pills meant to manage how we function. Sometimes the junction box is broken and we miss the connections others seem to make with ease. Imagine if you threw away one of the one in five keys meant to open the door to the room the world forgot we were locked in. If kindness makes us friends, then let compassion make us kin. Don't let us get lost in the numbers again. Illness is illness. Sometimes the cost to heal it is just an ear willing to listen. Sometimes a shoulder volunteering to be a crutch. People are not a price to be weighed against your budget. One in five is too much.